We're going to take a closer look at the first family and so far their life in the White House. The first lady Melania Trump, as you know, is here in New York City with her son Barron. I did ask the president about living in the White House by himself, at least for now, and the changes he's already made there in the Oval Office and getting used to Air Force One. ABC's Tom Yamas, who covered the entire campaign <laughs> on, on the Trump's first few days in the White House as a family. Yeah, and you were the first journalist there. Good morning, guys. For more than 35 years, for nearly 35 years, I should say, President Trump has lived in the same place, his own Versailles in the sky, Trump Tower. But now he's in the people's house. Less gold, more history, but still ample access to one of his favorite things, cable news. Just one week after taking the oath of office, President Donald Trump still taking it all in, reacting to his first flight on Air Force One. Beautiful. Great plan. And telling David Muir what it feels like to get to work in the Oval Office. What moves you the most about this room? Just the history of it, the importance of it, what's happened here. Trump now sitting at a desk used by six of his modern predecessors, but added his own flair to the famous space switching out President Obama's red curtains for gold ones and replacing the carpet. We're standing on Ronald Reagan's rug. This was Ronald Reagan's, and you have a choice, you know, when you come in. They have eight or nine carpets. They have different furniture. The new president settling into a familiar routine. According to the New York Times, Trump spends his mornings as he did in Trump Tower, rising before 6 a.m., watching cable news shows and looking through the morning papers but also making room for family time. You ready? Daughter Ivanka, you Trump's youngest child, seen here crawling on the floor of the White House. Ivanka's husband, Jared Kushner, making the move to D.C. as well. Kushner now a senior advisor to the president. Is there any chance Ivanka might have a, an office right here in the White House? Well, right now she is just getting settled. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, she is a special person. She's You're not smart really not. and she's got every quality you can possibly have. I don't rule out anything, no, there's certainly a possibility. And Jared has been here and he's doing a great job. Not in the White House full time, Trump's wife Melania and 10 year old son Barron, who will be finishing the school year in New York. Until then, Trump tells the New York Times, they'll come down on the weekends. She'll come down on Thursdays and stay. Your predecessor, uh used to talk often about finishing the day to get to his family upstairs, the stairwells right over here, to have dinner with them. And I know that the First Lady, Melania, uh, has a big job back in New York taking care of she Barron. Does, yes. does it make it a lonely place for you at the end of the day? No, because I end up working longer, and that's okay. I, I mean, I'm working long hours. I mean, the country has a lot of problems. And the new president seems to be marveling at the smallest details, telling the Times the White House phones are, quote, the most beautiful phones I have ever used in my life. Now, while he gets used to life in the nation's capital, motorcading wherever he goes on the streets of D.C., his former residence in New York, Trump Tower, will also have safety precautions put in place. Trump Tower now will have permanent flight restrictions and enhanced physical security. Guys. All right. Thanks so much, Tom. Yeah.